Welcome once again to Nature's Classroom. Today we are going to see about biodiversity of regional groups of natural history by students, particularly on fruit eating birds called frutivorous birds. Regional Museum of Natural History Mysore is located adjacent to a lake called Karanjini and spread across over an area of 5 and a half acres under the foothills of Chamundi Hills. The campus, along with the adjacent area, is notified as one of the important bird area in of our country. The campus is rich in plant diversity with 350 species of trees and plants. It is worth mentioning here that it includes various fruit bearing trees such as one behind me called Ficus dupesi, commonly called as Mysuru fig tree. Apart from this tree, we are having 12 more Ficus species in our campus. Different species of birds have been observed to be fruit of these fig trees throughout the year in our campus. In our campus, we have recorded around 100 plus bird species throughout the year. We have classified those birds in two categories, insect eating birds called insectivorous, fruit eating birds called frugivorous. Today we are going to see about the frugivorous birds of our campus. Ok children, come on let's see what are those fruit eating birds in our campus and what are those fruit trees in our campus. Children, let's see what are those trees that attracts fruit eating birds that is frugivorous birds to our campus. Banyan tree scientific name is Ficus bengalensis. Peepal tree Ficus religiosa. Krishna's buttercup Ficus krishne. Here I would like to mention the unique feature of the tree. The leaf of the tree has a pocket like foal at the base and there is a mythological story of Lord Krishna related to the leaves of this tree, hence the name Krishna's buttercup. Mysuru fig, Ficus drupaceae, gooseberry tree, Philanthus acidus, Singapore cherry, Muttyanjaya kalabura. Ok children, come let's see what are those fruit eating birds that comes to our campus to eat the fruit of this tree. Indian Grey Hornbill. It is a small grayish brown hornbill with cast above the bill. It feeds on fig fruits in pairs or in small groups in our campus. Pale Billed Flower Pecker. It is India's one of the smallest bird. It's a tiny bird with a pale and bulky curved bill. Feeds on berries of Singapore cherry tree in small groups. Red Whiskered Bulbul. It's a medium sized Songbird with tall black crest and small red patch on ear. It's found in pairs or small groups in our garden and feeds on fig fruits. Asian quail. It's a large cuckoo bird having ruby red eyes. Male is a glossy black and while female is a blackish brown with white dots. Usually found solitary in our campus in interior of trees and feeds on fig fruits brown headed barbet. It's a green and brown barbet with prominent pale streaks on its brown head and breast. It's very vocal during breeding season in our campus. It feeds on fig fruits which is the important food item of these birds. Copper Smith Barbet. It's a small widespread cute little barbet with red forehead and yellow around the eye and throat. It found solitary or in small groups in garden and feeds on fig fruits. Indian Golden Oreo. The male birds are brightly yellow with black wings and tail. Most often feeding fig fruits in tree canopies either single or in pairs in our campus. Red Vented Bulbul. It's a dark sleek medium sized bird with black crest and red color under the tail. It is found in groups in garden and feeds on fig fruits and Singapore cherry fruit. Rose ring parakeet. It's a bright green parakeet with bright red bill. Adult male has red and black neck ring but female show no ring. 
It's found in small groups in garden and feeds on gooseberry, Singapore cherry and prick fruit. Hello students, we have seen so far fruit eating birds and, or fruit, fruit liver as birds of spiritual music of naturalist campus Mysore. I hope by now you may have gained knowledge on fruit liver as birds that is fruit eating birds. You may also start watching these birds in your backyard garden, in your locality using pair of binoculars like this or on the bird watcher like the one behind me. You can see such bird watching tower in bird sanctuary or in any protected area of our country. Now the question narrates why one has to observe birds or any other animals. Children in a given ecosystem such as campus like this or pond or forest or even in a dead wooden dock consists of various biological components actively involved in various activities such as feeding, nesting, resting, so on and so forth. Children, let me explain to you. In a fruit eating bird which feed on the fruits of a tree disperse the trees in far away places which a tree couldn't do on its own and make ensure the tree grow, grows in other places also. Such an ecological activity ensures a balanced and healthy environment which ultimately benefits human being. Okay children, I hope you like this small video clip on fruity virus birds. Now you can also watch birds and other animals in your backyard garden, in your locality on any other campus like this and find yourself how these animals engage themselves. Please share this video and comment below. Thank you.